Well, Bill, the mayoral election in Richmond is very similar to the presidential election in that it's not necessarily the person who takes home the most votes on election night that wins the race. Instead, in the city of Richmond, you must win five out of nine city council districts on election day to actually win this race outright. Now, in 2016, Mayor LeVar Stoney surprised everyone, and he was able to pull that off. But this year, a political analyst, Dr. Bob Hallsworth, said he expects the race to be competitive in every single district. It's almost like a, a calculus game here about who takes away votes from, one, from what person. Um, it seems to me that every vote for, that Justin Griffin gets really is a vote uh, that Kim Gray would have wanted. That's sort of the anti Stony vote. Votes that come um, to Alexis Rogers may well come out of out of uh, Mayor Stoney's uh, camp as well. So that's why I think there's a lot of anxiety in all the camps about this race. Now, if nobody wins this race outright tonight by getting five out of nine council uh, council uh, council districts, that this will go to a runoff in about a month. The runoff will involve the two candidates that received the most votes citywide today. Working for you in Richmond, I'm Melissa Hippolyte for CBS 6.